Welcome back everybody. It's that time of year again. People are obsessed with Spotify Wrapped. This year, I actually don't think I even shared my Spotify Wrapped on my Instagram, which is kind of like, does that mean I don't exist? We should really all take this as an opportunity to like, you know, have a look around and maybe take other people's top artists into consideration to check out new music. No, we kind of just glance at them, skip the story and then forget about it. Like the typical cancer that I am, I decided to turn Spotify Wrapped into something not fun, arguably. Hmm, not really. Okay, it's just emotion. As the year of 2021 is coming to an end, I'm sorry. What? That is the cra craziest thing. Didn't we not just enter 2021? I'm going through my Spotify rap, telling you who my top artists were, and telling you something that I learned about myself or about the world through those lyrics. Seeing as I am still in LA, which is very much beautiful and which will come into our discussion, you will see some beautiful b-roll of some of the things that I've seen. Okay, so we're gonna be going through my artists from the bottom to my top artists on Spotify Wrapped. So so first up we've got Tame Impala and the lyric that I've chosen is from Runway Houses City Clouds. The lyric is, it's true that some things have to change. I think that's a lesson that I have learned over the years, right? But I think a lot of us, actually, over the last two years, have experienced a new level of change, really, that we've never ever had to adapt to before. It's been strange, it's been completely alien, and no one had guidelines for it. It's so crazy, and I think it really affects you mentally when you're living in that environment. In my personal life and like career-wise, things have been changing and like moving, and it's just this sh shifting. People have a different tolerance to change. Some people like it when things are really constant and the same and they don't change, they like routine. And that can be nice or put to a point. And then other people love change. They, they, if they stay still for too long, they go crazy. Before the pandemic, I would say, I, I kind of was in the middle, I think. And then now, after we spend so long, just locked in like a tiny apartment, just doing nothing. It just felt like you were going crazy. Everything felt the same all the time, which just made me crave change hugely, desperately. Like you just wanted to do anything that was just out of your everyday routine. I think we as humans should always try and understand our own relationship with change. Someone deals with change very badly, like if they react very negatively because, you know, maybe on a subconscious level, they're expecting like the worst possible outcome. That can really hinder you in life because guess what? Change is pretty much like the only thing that's constant in our lives. <laughs> There's not many things that you can guarantee. Change is 100% one. Like change happens every single day. I've never dealt with anxiety before the pandemic and then I did very shortly before we were flying and like had a panic attack and that was that was crazy. I think I deal with change pretty good. I think I'm good, I want change. But then sometimes, you know, sometimes when things just spring up on you, it's okay to be scared. Like it's okay to want change, but you also be scared of that change. Because change doesn't always have to mean bad things. I've learned that change, it just springs up on you all the time, everywhere. There's changes that happen all the time and just make sure that you know how you react to change. And if it triggers you into like feeling negative and stuff, it helps to try and work on it. If it can be changed, if you can't change it, if there's nothing, if it's completely out of your control, the only thing you can control is how you feel about it. And I think Tame Impala, like a lot of their songs have like a theme of change throughout, which I love. Like when I listen to Tame Impala, their sound, it fluctuates so much. It's just so dynamic and there's so many new things. And I feel like if you listen to Tame Impala three months apart or something like that, you can listen to it differently almost and notice different things. And Tame Impala just feels empowering to listen to them change. That's just like a theme that I feel like when I think about Tame Impala. Next up in number four on my Spotify wrapped was Rufus Du Sol. The song I have chosen is Next To Me. The lyrics are, 
Late in the evening, when the sun comes down under the starlight as the birds fly by, I see the dust fill the twilight skies. Rufus de Saul, because I initially heard about him when I was going to Coachella and he was going to be performing, we did see some of his set and it was sick. I don't know if it's because of that, I think it's also because of the music, but just when I listen to Rufus de Saul, it kind of puts me in the now. But if you listen to the lyrics, a lot of the times it's like that stuff that's just painting a picture for you, essentially. But if you just look around, you can see the picture with your own eyes. The Rufus de Saul always kind of reminds me, live in the now, because that's the only place you're actually living. The past and the future can only be a thought. You can only try and think and predict what's gonna happen in the future. You are never in the future. And same with the past. The past is gone, it's just a memory. Sometimes you kind of find yourself I was meant to be on a walk, but I'm actually just like staring at my phone screen and still not really doing anything, not connecting with anything. And then you just kind of have to go, okay, I need to just put that phone away for like a second and just chill. I love driving around in the car with Rufus the Soul playing because it just makes me happy to be alive, you know? This year with, like I said, like, you know, feeling anxious and developing anxiety. If you're just living in the now, it helps because no problem exists in the now unless it is obviously something that's like an emergency. For me, and probably a lot of other young people, we've been alone a lot. It kind of makes you, you know, look inwards and think about, you know, maybe your coping mechanisms and just get to know yourself more. So that's been an interesting journey. And I guess listening to the music kind of helps you absorb that. Just appreciate the process, you know, cause I'm, I'm so guilty of this all the time. Like, you know, instead of just chilling and being like, oh, this is so fun. You kind of think, oh, you know, I need to do this, I need to do this, this needs to do better. Just like waiting to get higher and higher. But, you know, very recently I've been working hard on this to like try and just be like, stop worrying about that for a second. You're in the now right now and the right now is pretty good and you're enjoying yourself. So enjoy it now rather than worrying about, you know, the later stuff. Madness, know that when you at this. Gradness, grab it like I'm Atlas. Okay, my number three, it's a KSI. And I've chosen a song called Madness. Grandness, grab it like I'm Atlas. I think KSI as a person to me represents someone who works very hard and clearly is very passionate about what he does. And is clearly very good at what he does. He's someone that I look up to because of that, you know, because if you watch his journey, I think in music especially, he started out with songs like, you know, Lamborghini. And did he get shit for that song? Hell yeah. Did his fans like like the song or like hype it up? Of course, yeah. But he also got a lot of shit of people being like, look, what the hell, look at that silly YouTube, whatever. Music is his passion and KSI was just like, I wanna do this, I'm gonna get better at it. And he kept at it, you know, instead of just being like, whatever, look, like these people, they said, this is shit and I could never do anything for real. To me, he just kind of represents about going after something that you're passionate about, despite what, you know, critics you might have, you know, because there's always critics. A lot of the times it comes from a place of pain and insecurity. I think all of us stumble into that trap at some point where we're kind of tempted. Are we given to that temptation of, you know, like, Kind of saying something bitchy about someone or just kind of like nitpicking at something someone did because we're like jealous of something that they have or like because we're insecure about something about ourselves so like case has someone who kind of reminds me to just keep in mind what you're doing what you're after go after it and also if you don't think you're strong enough to handle it yes you are everybody's trying to find someone to hold on to my second place is Justin Bieber. I don't understand it either. Okay, please. I'm a cancer. We're emotional. So the song I've chosen is Somebody. And the lyric is, everybody's trying to find someone to hold on to. I think obviously during the pandemic, there's like two groups of people, right? People who had or people quarantined with them and people who were alone. I can't even imagine having to like be quarantined alone for that long like you must go crazy i had hannah my best friend and i was still going crazy like i cannot imagine so i think it just underlined for us like you know human connection is something that's pretty important to all of us i can be a bit of a hermit sometimes okay and that's because i'm trying to figure out my working schedule this might sound comical but boy i'm trying okay when when you do social media stuff, I could just 
work 24 7 if I wanted to. I don't, of course I don't. But I could. I don't see my friends often enough, that's true, yeah. So, I'm trying to make friends and connections. I'm trying to be better, thank you. Human connection is important. However, because of that, some people will go to very big lengths to force it within yourself. Sometimes you will know that the relationship is not right or a friendship is not right, like whatever it is. And I think it's just about being able to recognize that and thinking, you know what? We don't need to be doing this. <laughs> and it's okay to grow apart. You know, sometimes it's okay to be like just a chapter in someone's life as opposed to like a running theme. That's what Justin Bieber has taught me. He has a lot of emotional songs. Most of them are about like a significant other. So, can't relate. Standing on the cliff right on my Holland Drive. Back on my mind like this is a remedy. Something about the night that keep me safe. In the very top spot for my most played artist, I'm not really surprised. My top Spotify rapped artist for 2021 was Kikuri. I'm I actually unintentionally put this on. And we're in his merch, amazing. I love Kikuri, I love his songs, I love his message, I love the man, he is such a little handsome fucker. He is so cute, I love him. So it was very hard to choose a song. I decided to, yeah, make it harder for myself and choose one from his latest album, Man on the Moon 3. So I chose Tequila Shots and the lyric is, standing on the cliff right off Mulholland Drive, back off my late night session remedy, Something about the night that keep me safe and warm. Just me, the universe and everything I think. I learned a lot about myself and how I function through, you know, the pandemic and the last little while. So many different opportunities for me to kind of grow and think about situations I've never thought of. One of the things that I've learned is that I'm a bit of an emotional sponge. And if you don't know what that means, basically it's very easy for me to absorb someone else's energy for example if someone around me say it's the morning right and like whoever i'm seeing first thing in the morning and then turn around to me and they like just start complaining they're like oh it's so miserable today and like oh, i didn't even want to get up it was so cold you know just like saying miserable stuff i would sort of then take that on and then i would walk out out of that conversation like drained and just annoyed and it also affects me with like arguments you know like some people are able to just like you know, have an argument and then just like turn it off and then just like, they're fine. Like they're not even annoyed anymore. But if I get into an argument and it's not resolved, it drives me crazy. Like I can't just like switch my mood. So I learned that about myself. But I think it's something that I need to watch out for if I spend like extended periods of time with certain people. And I guess for me, the advice to you is like, you know, protect your energy. I hope you enjoyed this. I wanted to do something a little bit different. It gives me an opportunity to, to show you guys some cute little B-roll of some places that I've seen that I haven't gotten a chance to show you maybe. And just sharing my top artists. So if you haven't listened to any of those, you should definitely check them out because they are good. And just sharing some of my thoughts on 2021 and I guess life in general. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. Let me know that in the comments below. If you guys want us to bring back Zaggy of the month, have a good day, have a good life. Bye-bye.